תקרוש בוקר אור שבוע טוב, מסכת במציאה דף נ"ח עמוד א', 58A1. You remember we were talking about that a Shomer Chinam, he does not swear on a Gdesh, and we asked the contradiction. This is where we finished off the last Shiu. So I'll just start again from the contradiction where Nun Zayin Mut Bet, 57B on the bottom, where the Gmina asked the contradiction, meaning we have a, meaning we have a contradiction, Bnei Ha'il Sheshalchu Tshikliheim. When you have the people of the city that they sent to Shekalim and then it was stolen or it was lost on the path, if it was already that they came and they separated the Trumot from the Shekalim, so there they're they're going to swear to the Gizbarim. Because remember, who loses out? The Gizbarim. So they have to swear to the Gizbar. And if not, so the Nishbayin Ibn Ayid, they're going to swear to the Bnei Ayid. Yeah, and then it says over here, why? Because then the Bnei Ayid have to pay them. The people of the city have to pay them for those lost Shekalim. And then the Bnei Yid have to come and they have to take other Shekalim and they have to give it to them. If it was found or they gave back, the Ganavim gave it back. Meaning they found the Ganavim or basically they got their money back. So what happens? They're both going to be Shekalim. It's not going to count for Shana Raba. What does that mean? It's not like he knew that, listen, if I gave double this year, so now next year I can become Patu. It doesn't work like that. You understand? You give double, Chazak Baruch. We tell you thank you very, very, very much. The next year, you start from zero. That's the problem. Yeah, this is the Gemara. What do you want? Okay. Yeah, okay, fine. Says the Gemara. Carefully. So basically what happens is, is that if it was found, the Shekalim, the, they both become Shekalim, meaning that the guy, they, they lost out at the end of the day. And therefore, they don't count it for the next year. I'm a Shmuel, and Shmuel says. Now, the question, the way is, what's the Sira? The Sira is, is that here it's written that this guy was a Shomer Chinam. He was a Shaliach taking all the Shekalim. Imagine, they're taking all the Shekalim from Miami, Teret Israel. The Shaliach loses it, whether it's stolen or lost. He has to swear. Now, the question is, who does he swear to? Does he swear to the Gizbar, or which are the basically the appointings, the appointees of the Bet Kabait of the Bet Amidash, or does he swear to us, to the people of Miami? But he has to swear to somebody here it's written, right, that you don't swear at all. So what's going on? So what's the pshat? So says the Gemara, Amar Shemuel, says Shemuel, Hacha benose sachar askinan. Here we're talking about Shomer Sachar. We're not talking about Shomer Chinam. Shomer Chinam means an unpaid custodian, an unpaid watchman. Here we're talking about a paid watchman. What does that mean? They paid him to watch over the Shekalim, meaning he was like a UPS courier. So they come, they give him money, go take this Eretz Yisrael, make sure that he gets the end of his butt. Now if it was stolen, now he's going to have to swear. Yeah, makes sense. No? Now they have to swear in order to take the reward. Right? What does that mean? They're not making a vow because of the Shavua of a Shomer. They're making a vow because now they want money. Meaning they're coming to us to get their money. And when they want to come and they want to get their money, they say, okay, fine, swear. You want to get paid? Swear. The, the, you know, the, the Jews, they're very smart. They didn't pay at the beginning. They paid at the end. When they, deliver. when they deliver. When you deliver, that's when you get paid. Here, you always have to pay at the beginning. And then when it doesn't get delivered, go fight with the FedEx and UPS and all these places. You understand? <laughs> go try getting money from them. Right? But, but they do the exact, exact opposite. Only when you deliver, that's when you get paid. Right? The same thing we learned Musara skill from here, Richard. That what? That when you deliver, you get paid. Exactly. Yeah, don't don't think you're going to start charging before you uh, first deliver. Show first work, then you get paid. Okay? Fine. One second, one second, one second. You just sold me, right? They say, you just sold me two team. You know what two team means? You just sold me strawberries. Why? What did you just say? You wanted to answer up the stira that a Shomer Chinam does not swear. Ah, here he was swearing. I said, no, we're talking about Shomer Sachar. And even if it was a Shomer Sachar, they're, they're swearing to get their, their, their salary, right? To when they get their wages. One second. Why in the world are they going to swear to the Gizbarim? We just said that if right now they already gave the Shekalim, so they swear to the Gizbarim because the Gizbarim are losing out. Why in the world are they swearing to the Gizbarim? They have to swear to the people of the city to get paid, not to the Gizbarim. If you're going to tell me it's the Shivua, the Shomrim, that they are watching it over, makes sense. But if you're going to tell me it's a Shivua, right, to get paid, they don't get paid by the Gizbarim. They get paid by Bnei Ayir. 
סוססת גמרא, יחי נשמעי לגזר, לבנה אין מי באלה. אמר רבא, רבא קאמז אני אנסורס, נשבעים לבני העיד במעמד הגזברים. לא, you do swear to the people, but you swear to the people במעמד הגזברים, כי איך ידע לא נחשדים, in order that the גזברים are not going to suspect them from coming and from, uh, and from uh, exactly, from being negligent and, and like basically stealing their money. וינמי, or you could also say another answer, כי איך ידע לא ליקרו יהוא פושעים, in order that they shouldn't call them negligent. What does that mean? In order that they shouldn't come and start saying, these guys are Poshim Bilchush Ekdesh, meaning we have the property of Ekdesh, right? For, for example, Vete Knesset is Ekdesh. If people are negligent in the property of Ekdesh and they come and they start destroying the property of Ekdesh, so therefore you're going to have a problem. So says the Gemara, the Hanig Nevo Shavduk Tani, one second. But it's written if it was stolen or if it was lost. The Shomer Sachar, now regular Shomer Sachar, the Gneva Ve'avedach, Yuvu Mechaive, he's going to be Chayav. Right? V'hachanami, so to hear. Nehi de shalom il mishalme, agrayu mi lo lafsid. He says, one second, even if you're going to tell me that they're not going to be patur, they're going to be patur from paying, at the end of the day, at least they should lose their wages. Right? One second. Shomer sachar is chayav on gneva v'avida. So if you just answer that we're talking about shomer sachar, so shomer sachar is going to be, uh, is going to be chayav. What's going on? You just told me he's a shomer sachar. So says the Gemara. So Amar Rabba, Rabba comes and he answers, Nignevu belistin mezuyan. We're talking about it was stolen with listin mezuyan, which means mamash armed robbers. And armed robbers, robbers, right, are called honest. It's not called gneva vaveda. And avdu, when it says avdu, it wasn't just stomach got lost. It was tavas finato bayam. That's what it means. Uh, it, it, the, basically, the, the ship sank. And therefore, that's the honest. So therefore, in such a case, even a shomer sachar is going to be patur from paying. So therefore, it comes out that he cannot start coming mit toen, to the Shulchim, that he, he did his job. He did everything. And therefore, the, and by the way, you should know that even in secular law, there's a difference between uh, the two. I don't remember how they call each one, but each one, they have it. Meaning that, you know, like every single city, they have to come up with the statistics every single year. And they say, let's say in 2023, how many burglaries, how many, arm, uh, I forgot how they, they, they divide it. One of them is like an armed robbery. One of them, I think, is like burglaries. Another one is like, a, you know, like a homicides and how many this and how many that. And, uh, you know, you know all these. So that's the same. Thing. Meaning there's a difference. People coming with the guns, right? That, that's not already Gineva. That's not the armed robber coming with a gun to your head. Is not, uh, it's not the same thing. Okay? Fine. Says the Gimara. Rabbi Yochanan Amar. Rabbi Yochanan comes and he's going to explain the Mishnan Shekalim in a different way. And that's how we're going to explain, right, the Machloka to the Mishnah. Rabbi Yochanan Amar, Rabbi Yochanan comes and he says, Ha'mani, who's the Mishnan Shekalim? Rabbi Shimon. This is Shittat Rabbi Shimon. Te'amar, Kodshim Shekhaya Bachrayutan, Yesh Lahem Ona'a, Tanish Ba'im Alehem. If you remember, according to Shittat Rabbi Shimon, Kodshim, that you're Chayav to replace them. It's like a guarantee. Right? So it means Chayav. One second, one second. No, but you have to put the money instead of it, right? You had a hundred dollars for kochim; it was stolen. Ahead, you have to replace it. That's how you replace it. So, in such a case, there is a din of onaa, meaning, right? There's a concept of right onaa, and also you're going to swear on them. So, therefore, since you're also going to swear on them, we say that you don't swear. So, therefore, we had a question. Well, meaning, we have a contradiction. What are you talking about here? You do swear. So he said, no, that Mishnah is going according to Shittat Rabbi Shimon, and Rabbi Shimon says that you do swear. So it makes sense when it says that you're going to swear, right? If we're going to say, our Mishnah, you don't swear, that's not going like Rabbi Shimon. But over there, we were going like Rabbi Shimon, according to Shittat Rabbi Shimon, you do swear on Kodshim. Okay? So says the Gemara, Hateinach, that makes sense, right? Ad shelo nitrema tuma. If they still didn't bring the tuma and everything, but then the money still belongs to the Hediot. So he says, but once they actually gave the truma over, so that's going to be considered kochim, which you're not going to be chayav, b'achar yutan. The Tanya, as we learned in Abraita, Do you know that the, the Gizbarim, they're going to be tormim on something which was actually lost, right? That means they didn't know about it beforehand, or on something which was already collected and it's on the way or in something which is going to be the future collected, which means like this. I know that every single year we get from Miami, let's say a thousand shekels. Yeah, I know about it. And now it's going to be on the, it's going to be already in the, on, it's a mid air. They already sent it on a, on a flight or whatever it is. And it's on the way. 
So when I'm there in the Bet Hamidash and I'm the Gizbar, I'm counting that money there, even though it didn't actually come to my hands, because I know that it's coming from there. So therefore, they're going to be tormin on something. Let's say now got lost on the path. Yeah, whatever the case is, got lost. Or it's already collected, but it's on the path. Or it's going to be collected. On any of these three, we're already coming and we're already separating it, right? And we're already con considering it, that it was already collected from the beginning. And therefore, it comes out, right, that in the case of the beginning of the Mishnah, when it says the B'nai are going to be Turin from Achrayut, we're talking about that it was already Nitrema. And therefore, it's already considered Mamon Ekdesh for everything. And therefore, even according to the Bishimon, that he says that there's going to be Turim Shavua, because you're not going to make a Shavua for Ekdesh, it comes out that there's a Sira in the Mishnah, but there it says, you are Chayav a Shavua. So says the so says the Gemara, answers the Gemara, once already, was already in Tirma Truma, it's called Shim Shena Chayav Achrut Aninu, right? Because we already learned this in a Brayta. So El Amar Bilazar says to Bilazar, Shivwa Zo is not Minadin. This Shivwa is Takana Chachamim. It's a Takana Chachamim, Shelo Yu Bnei Adam Zazilim Bekdeshot, which means that we do not people want people to be mezalzel in Ekdesh. So therefore, we since we don't want to obey, so the rabbis instituted a special shivua, even though mitzadadin, they would have been patur from the shivua, here they're going to be obligated in such a shivua. Okay? Fine. Okay. Next, two dots. Okay? No se sachar, eno meshalem. So we're talking about a shomer sachar, he does not pay on Kakaot, Avadim, Shtarot, Ekdeshot, that was given to a Shomer, and then was lost or stolen. Says the Gimara, Rami le Rav Yosef Bar Chama le Rabba, asked Rav, right, Rav Yosef Bar Chama to Rabba, Tanam, we learned in the Mishnah, no says, Zacharon Yishalem, he does not pay on Ekdesh, or meaning we have a contradiction. Hasokher et ha-poel, Yishmon et ha-para. Imagine right now, I'm going to rent out a poel, with the money of Ekdesh, to watch over a para duma, or Yishmon et ha-tinok, or to watch over a tinok, Right, in order that it shouldn't become tamay, in order that he should go get the water for the mechatat. Remember, when they're getting the water for the paraduma, the person has to be 100% pure. Or lishmonet zraim, or to watch over the zraim in order to make sure that we're going to have enough for the korban omen. Remember, minchat omen is brought on second day of Pesach. That's firat omen, right? And no trim no schar Shabbat. Right? If it's a schir yom, obviously you cannot pay him for the day of the Shabbat. Right? You can't pay a Jew for work on Shabbat unless it's going to be paid be havla. Havla'a. Havla means that you absorb it with swallow something else. Swallow it up. Right? That means if you swallow it up with something else, so then yes, you can't pay for it by itself on Shabbat. That's called Sechad Shabbat. You cannot get paid for Shabbat. Let, yes, 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 yes. Yes. What? Yes. Yes. Until, yes. until today. Yes. Yes. Every day except for Shabbat. Yeah, that's what we just said. Havla. That's what we're talking about. Havla. So Lefiha. Yeah, Goy is allowed to accept money of Shabbat. Yeah, but he's allowed to work on Shabbat. Lefichach, and therefore, en achrayut Shabbat alav. There's no achrayut Shabbat on it. Right? Why? Because since it's not getting paid, so he's going to be patur. Hayas chir Shabbat, if he's going to be schir Shabbat. Shabbat here means a Shavua, not of a right of the Shavua, right of Shabbat. Schir Chodesh, schir Shana, schir Shavua. Whether it's going to be schir of a week, of a month, of a year, or seven years. Here, Shavua, right, means seven years. Right? No trim, no schar Shabbat. They do give schar Shabbat. Why? Because it's swallowed up. It's absorbed. And therefore, Shabbat alav, he is obligated for the Shabbat. So when it says here that he's going to be obligated, obligated on what? Obviously it means that he has to pay. That's what the Gemara says. My love is Shalem, and we not talk about that the Shomer Sachar has to pay. So here you told me in the Mishnah that Anose Sachar does not pay for Karka Avadim Shtarot and Ekdeshot that was given over and it was lost or stolen. Here it's much that you do pay. And so the Gemara, no. We're not talking about paying for the object. We're paying, we're talking about losing your salary. That's what we're talking about. That means they don't lose their salary, even though there was something that happened to the object and it got lost or no, stolen. He does lose salary. He doesn't have to pay for the loss. That's exactly what we're talking about. Meaning only the salary, not yeah. the object. Yeah? Okay. So, but you have to put a comment, Richard. No. It's only the salary. Okay. It's not. It's not the. It's not the the object. Meaning, we usually shomer sachar has to pay for the object, right? I give you something. I tell you, Richard, watch my phone. I'm giving you ten dollars to watch your phone. Yeah. Gets lost, so you have to pay for it. Here, you don't have to pay for it because that's what the Mishnah. Mishnah says you don't pay for a 
right? On the, on the because it says that when it's still stolen from a hediot, not from Egdesh, from your friend, not from Egdesh. So therefore, which one? No, but again, according to the Misha, you don't swear. So says the Gemara, Yihachi, if you're going to tell me now that there's the Achrayut that we're talking about is that they're losing their wages, Reisha, the Ktani, the Reisha, that says the Achrayut Shabbat Alav, that he does not have the Achrayut of Shabbat, Hachanami, so to hear the Lafsidus, you know, we're talking about that he's losing his wages. There's no Shabbat anyway. When you translate the words that he doesn't get it, he doesn't have the the Achrayut, the, you cannot tell me it's the wages, because anyway, you just said that he doesn't get wages on Shabbat. We learned, and not the Shabbat. So what's the what's the then? Anyway, you have to give him advance of Shabbat. Oh, one minute, one minute. No, it could be also a post dated, right? So he says Ishtik, Ishtik. He kept quiet, right? Why? He says Amale. He says Did you actually hear about this? Amale. He says This is what the Shabbat says. The Shekanu miyado. He made a kinyan already. That basically, that even though he's patur miikaradin, in order to give a itchayvut, they made a kinyan, a masek kinyan, that if Bemet he didn't watch a property properly, he does have to pay. Which means even though mitzadadin, he's exempt. Here they did a special thing in order to make sure that he's going to have to pay for it. The cheram Rabbi Yochanan. Yes, Chalipin. Yes, and he says also Rabbi Yochanan the same thing. Shekanu miyadan the Chalipin Sudan. Yeah. So he says shekanu miyado. They also did a kinyan. As well, okay. Two dots. Which Rabbi Shimon Omer says the two dots on the bottom of Nunchet Amud Aleph. Rabbi Shimon Omer, Rabbi Shimon says, "Kodshim shechayvech harutani yeshem onah." Kodshim that is the person is obligated in a chayut. He is there. They do have onah. If there's no chayut, so there's no onah. Tani tani kamed Rabbi Yitzchak Bar Abba. They talked in front of Rabbi Yitzchak Bar Abba. Kodshim shechayvech harutani. We're talking about kodshim that the yor chayav harutan chayav. A person has to bring an asham gizelot. What does that mean? If he accepts it upon himself, right, and he says hare alai, and he separates it, and then if it gets uh, lost, so he has to bring another one. If right now he gave it as a as a kodesh by a shomer, and now when they come and they tell him no, give it, and he says no, it's not by him, and he swears, and then he actually swore falsely, so he has to bring a sham gizelot because he actually stole. Remember, a sham is a guilt offering, so he's gonna be chayav Shani kore bahen, because I'm going to read on this kodeshim. What does that mean? It says in the Pasuk, when a person comes and he sins and he does meila against Hashem, now he's going to renounce, right, that he doesn't have it, right, so the fact that there's a juxtaposition, there's a, there's a smichut, right, there's the, the concept over here of Hashem and Vichichesh, so therefore we're making a kesh. That he says that even though we're talking about kodshim shena chayv echriutan, you're going to be patul for being Hashem gezelot shani koru bahem ba mitov echikesh, which means since this animal is considered like an animal of a regular person and not a gdesh, it's not considered a chasha in Hashem, but rather ba mito his friend. And therefore, since it's going to be considered in his friend, right, he's going to be patul. No, that's what we're saying here. It says over here, there's no obligation to bring an Hashem gezelot unless you're doing a chasha ba Hashem. And here, if you're going to do a dachasha on your friend, you're going to be patun from an asham. So the Gemara is going to explain now the opposite. But we're not talking about the fifth yet, Richard. We're talking about Hashem Gezilot. Right? We're talking about the Korban, first of all. Okay? Okay? Now he comes and he says, right, like this. He comes and he says, no, in the footnote he says, you do add a fifth and you bring the Korban. But here we're talking about the Korban, though. We're not speaking about the actual fifth yet. We're talking about the patun from the Korban. <coughs> says the Gemara, Amar Leh. So he comes and he says, Rabbi Yitzchak Baraba comes and he says, Klap lelaya. What are we talking about exactly? What case exactly? Munchet Amubet 58b. So the Gemara says, Itcha Vistabra. It should be the exact opposite. Why? Kochim that you're not obligated to, to have a guarantee on them, They're, they belong much more to Hashem than Kochim that you're obligated to give back. So if you're going to come and you're going to obligate it, because Kiilu it belongs to Ediot, so therefore you would have said Kochim, which you're going to be Chayav Achriyutam, and you came and you swore falsely that it's not in your possession, your patut to give Hashem Gezelot, because I'm going to say Bamitov Yechichesh, and these Kochim that you're not going to be Chayav Achriyutam, you're obligated to bring Hashem Gezelot, because I'm going to say Bamitov Yechichesh. So what's going on exactly? So he comes and he says, Amalei, he comes and he says, Isme. He says what? Should I take away the Braita? Because there's a mistake in the Braita? Meaning sometimes, right, you have a problem that it's like Meshubeshet. So, so therefore, why? You want me just to remove it? 
Yeah, so Amalei, he comes and he says, no, no. Hachi kaman, this is what it means to say. Kochim, shata chayav v'achrivitan, chayav. Right? Any time that you have kochim, that you're going to be chayav v'achrivitan, you're going to be chayav to bring the Hashem gezelot. Titrabu mi v'ashem v'chichesh. Because they're adding it from, right, from the words of Hashem, from Hashem, and he renounced it. So, but if you're not going to be chayav v'achrivitan, you're going to be patur. The imut because it was it was um, it was min, not minimized is a better word for it. It was excluded from from bamito vechichesh, which means like this. What we're trying to say it's is hectic. exactly it's hektish is not his friend, and because we're excluding it, so therefore it's hektish is not a friend. We always said if it was his friend, it's different. Said, no, no, this belongs to hektish. It's not his friend. Okay, fine, and that's why we said over here you're going to be chayav a korban shavua. Says the two dots on umchet amubet. Rabbi Yudah, Rabbi Yudah says, even if you're going to sell a severed Torah, or a jewel, a diamond, or an animal, there's no onah. Tanya, we learned to the right, Rabbi Yudah, Rabbi Yudah says, if you're going to sell a severed Torah, and no onah, there's no onah. If you shake, there's no end to the money. The value of a severed Torah is so valuable. You could charge a million dollars, and it's a million dollars. But it says over here, an animal or a margalit, a diamond, there's no onah. Shadam will sell a zavgan. Because he wants to, he comes, he wants to put them together, right? That they already have it. And therefore, it's actually going to be worth more than that. What does that mean exactly? Right? That uh, he wants to put together the animal with the margalit. So he says over here. <coughs> so because here we're talking about, like, whether we're talking about an animal with another animal or a diamond with another diamond. So for, you want to pair because many times whenever you have a good animal, so you want another good animal to pair it up in order to work the land. You understand? So the same thing. It's like you're putting two different, uh, you know, pairs together. Okay. Yeah. Here it's much more the thing. It doesn't say anything. Amrulo. So they come and they say it. He says, well, why is that only to do with the Shora Bema or Margalit? You always want to do that with anything. You're going to come and you're going to put two things together. You already have one. You want two. And you want both of them a good, uh, you know, like a good, uh, yeah, exactly. There should be both of them the same thing. So the Gemara says, Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda says, no, Hani these are very, very important. But other things are not important. Meaning, right, when we're talking about an animal, right, or you're talking about the animal is what brings you your, your, your parnasa. Remember the olden days, everything was livestock, right? So everything was working the land, everything was a farm, everything. So therefore, that yes, and also jewelry. Truly, was, so you already have one earring, you want another good earring. You have one ring, you want another good ring. One, uh, so you always want a pair. But he says, but anything else, right, we don't want it. Right? It's not that you don't want it, it's just that you know you don't you don't need it so much. So you're gonna start coming and saying that there's no una. That kama. So how much is it? Amaramima Amarimima says, Ad which means we're going to say until the Mechir Gavua is that until the actual value, right? Which is actually until double. Twice double. Meaning that, uh, let's say it was worth $100, you could go until $200. So that's, uh, right? One minute. Yeah. So he comes and he says, we're talking about double the price. But more than that, for sure, there's going to be a problem of ona'ah. The Tanya we learned in the bright of Yudab and of Yudab and Metera says, Afa mocher sus v'saif v'hatitom b'milchama en la'em ona'ah. If a person's also going to come and he's going to sell, whether it's some of the horse, remember that they used to go to war with horses. Or the swords, or the shield. In any of these cases, and we're talking about during wartime, obviously there's no ona because why? Because that's what saves people's lives. So therefore, obviously, you could come and you could sell. Again, technically, this is price gouging, right? And nowadays, it becomes illegal in many states, right? But here, we're talking about that uh, it's got no, it's got no, uh, how do you call this? It's got no uh, value because it's so, it's so expensive because it actually saves by people's lives, which is very, very important. Mishnah on Nunchet Amubet 58b says the Mishnah, Keshem Sheona'a Bemeka Humemkar Ka Ona'a Bedvarim. What does that mean? Just like you're not allowed to do Ona'a with buying and selling, which means that you're not allowed to overcharge somebody, right? Because it's not nice. You're taking advantage of somebody when you're coming and you're overcharging them. So too, it's permitted to do Ona'a with words. What does that mean? To cause somebody pain or suffering with their words. So he says over here like this. What does that mean? He says, Lo yomalo, a person should not come and say to an owner, 
בכמה חפץ זה, how much you want to sell this, right? והוא לא רוצה לקח, he doesn't want to buy it. Meaning you're coming in, and you're asking him, by the way, how much does it cost? Now, you don't want to buy it. So what do you, you're wasting his time, because the guy gets all excited, he thinks he's going to make a sale, and then, uh, you, you know, you come, yeah, right? And, and it's a problem. אם היה בעל תשובה, אם זה בעל תשובה, לא יאמר לו, don't tell him, זה כל מעשיך הראשונים. Remember your first words, right? אם הוא בן גנים, אם הוא בן גנים, לא יאמר לו, don't remember, זה כל מעשיך הראשונים, remember your parents, what they, what they were doing. Why? שנאמר בזה, זה פסוק, וגל לא תונה ולא תלחצנו. Do not do תונה. תונה is הונאה. So you're not allowed to do הונאה. So הונאה is not only just in sales, הונאה is in words. By the way, the Mishnah Baruch actually says this, right? In, 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 uh, when he's speaking about in the introduction over there of the Chavetz Chaim, he comes and he says, some people think, ah, you know what, it's not Lashon, it's not Lashon Ra. Why? I would say it in his presence. So if it's not Lashon Ra, right? Some people think that if it's true, it's not Lashon Ra. It's incorrect. Lashon Ra is only if it's true. If it's not true, it's not Lashon Ra. But he says even more, if it's in the person's presence, he says, what? The subject is here. I'm speaking about him. What's the big deal? It says in Mishab Ra, it's even worse. Why does the Mishab Ra, the Chavetz Chaim, say it's worse? Because then you're over on Ona'ah. Because not only did you spoke about Lashon Ra, yeah. but you also did Ona'ah on him. And the Ona'ah, huh? Yes, you just did Ona'ah on him. Yes, Ona'ah is Doraita. Taru Rabana, we just learned in Abraita, says the Gemara, Lo tonu ish et amito, be'onat dvarim akutu medaber. We're talking about Ona'ah of dvarim. You heard? Ona'ah of dvarim. Okay? That means of speech. We're not talking about, uh, we're not talking about Mekach or Mekach. We're talking about speech. Huh? Bullying? Yes, bullying. Bullying is Ona. Ata omer be'onat varim, do you talk about Ona dvarim? When it says, Ona dvarim, when it says, Ona dvarim, אז כשהוא אומר, when it says, וכי תמכרו מכאן המתיך, או כנו מיד המתיך, אל תונו איש את אחיו. There, it's on at the moment. הוא אומר, המה אני מקיים לא תונו איש את אמיתו. Yeah? So obviously, לא תונו איש את אמיתו. So obviously, לא תונו איש את אמיתו. Meaning, I already have on at מכך וממכת. So obviously, the other one is talking about on at דברים. One of them is in כ"ה י"ז, and one of them is כ"ה י"ד. So obviously, there's two different types of on at. כיצד? What's the case? אם היה בעל תשובה, אם זה יהיה בעל תשובה, אני אומר לו, דון טלם, אז זה יכול מעשיך הראשונים. אם היה בן גדולים, לא יאמר לו, זה יכול מעשיך אבותיך. Remember the actions of your forefathers. אם היה גר לי, הוא בא ללמוד תורה, אפילו זה גר לי, אני מאמין תורה. אל יאמר לו, דון טלם, פשע אכל נבלות וטופות, שקצים ומסים, דמאות עד עת, נבלות וטופות, שקצים ומסים, בא ללמוד תורה שאינם רבים לגבורה, אז גם כמה לומדים תורה from the גבורה. אם היו ייסורים בהם עליו, ויעד הסופרים. אם היו חולאים באים עליו, או יהיה דיפרנט סיקנסס, או שהם יקבלו בניו, 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 כדי 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 שהם יקבלו בניו, Right? Mevakshim tivua mimenu. If the chamarim, which are the socharim, they're coming and they're asking for tivua from him, lo yom alayim, don't tell them, mechu etzad plod yishu mochet tivua, go to this person and to go, v'yodea bo, and they know, shalom achar meolam, that he never sold it. They just wanted to bother him. Right? They sent him pizza to his house, kilu, you know, like, a, you know, they start uh, driving him crazy, even though they're, you know, all these things. Right? So he said, don't bother them. Don't bother. Is it, by the way, this happens many times. You know, it could be theoretical questions. It could be other things as well, right? The concept is, is that don't start coming. I go to him. Well, he never sold in his life. Exactly. So he says, Rabbi Yudah, Rabbi Yudah comes and he says, no window. Also, don't put your eyes in a Mekkah when you don't have money. Right? No, window shopping is okay. Because our, our translation, window shopping, is that you're, you're, you're shopping outside. That's fine. I could look online how much are you selling a product and then I could come and buy it somewhere else online because I didn't actually come online. I didn't go to your store. I didn't go to you. Like the store like this. Oh, look at your store. My wife, five minutes, minutes, the guy's inside his mouth is water. Okay, right? oh, okay fine. Yeah? yeah. Says the Gemara, Share davar masur lalev. Vechol davar masur lalev. You have to remember that Onad Varim is in the heart, meaning nobody knows the truth other than Hashem. So because of that, it says, You have to fear your nobody God. Nobody knows. Which is that Kodesh Very famous Gemara. Says Rabbi Yohanan, the name of Rabbi Shimon Yochai. Gadol Onad Varim, Meonad Mamon. Do you know that Onad Varim is worse than Onad Mamon? Meaning bullying with your mouth 
is worse than stealing from the guy. That's what we're saying. Onat dvarim tiyoter garua meonat. Yeah, and that's what we're going to see. So says the Gemara, Shneemar, Shezeh Neemar, but this is written Yaret HaMelochah. וזה לא נאמר בירדו, זה לא יהיה בירדו מנוחה. מנגרו זה זה יראה את המנוחה בעיונות דברים, זה לא יהיה בעיונות מהמון. ובילה זרמר ולבן זר סייס, זה בגופו וזה במונו, זה זה בורי, זה 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 דמני. ושמור בנחמן יאמר, זה ניתן לשבון וזה לא ניתן לשבון. עונת ממון, you can give back money. But עונת דברים, you cannot give it back. Meaning, that since you came and you put them down, that self-esteem that you just destroyed, you cannot give back to the person. Money, you could always give back money to a person, but the self-esteem, you cannot give back to the person. So the three different reasons, remember, three different reasons why onat vadim, so yoter garua mi onat mamon. V'tan itan akamed rev yor nachman bar yitzchak, kol amamim p'nei chavero barabim, kiru shofech tamim. Also, if you're going to be amamim p'nei chavero barabim, you're going to be shofech tamim. Amar le yisay, shapi kamarta, for sure. Why? Techazina le daaz il sunka va techivra. Look, the red left and came the white. What does that mean? That he becomes all red when he becomes embarrassed and then becomes all white. What does that mean? The dam left him, right? It was like nishpach. It was like it was spilled. And therefore, that's what you have it. So, Amal Erev Idi, Amal Erev Bail Erev Dimi. Says the Bail Erev Dimi, Mimarava Mimai Zehide. In the edits, he said, what were they very careful with? Amal Erev, he said, Be'achvure Apeh. They were very careful not to be Marvin Perei Chavero. Amal Erev, Hanina, Kol Yodin Legeinam. Everybody goes down to Gehinam except for three, three people. Says the Gemara, what? You, you really think, what are you talking about now? Yeah? He says that Gehinam is only for the Rishayim. Right? I remember once one way Rabbanim, they always said, he says, one, one second. They're, they're just going to say it. One second. Richard, Shwai. Yeah, he says, one second. You know, I remember my rabbi always used to say, well, Gehinam is a very big place. What do you want? Do you remember when he said that the Gehinam was 60 times the this, and the Gan Eden, and Gan Eden was 60 times this, and, and everything was like nothing compared to Gehinam. You remember? Right? What, do, what do, doctor? Think about it. Yeah? Huh? Yeah, so I think it's 5-6. Yeah? In Tanit. So he says, You have to say, Anybody that goes down to Gehinam, they come out, except for three people. They go down and they don't come up. Who is that? If somebody commits adultery, they go with a married woman, they go to Geinam and they don't take them out. Yeah, number two, he's going to embarrass a person publicly. And number three, if somebody is going to come and he's going to make a kinui to another person, what does that mean? He has a nickname. Right, nicknames. This is the nickname that he has. And from then on, right? Okay, there's a Pnei Yoshua exactly. Why exactly? What, what's so bad about these three things? Everyone understood the stanzas. Oh, yeah, so he doesn't bother them. It's still not. Right. Well, the truth is it all depends because sometimes certain ones are are, are nice. Um, like, for example, Gordo, the, you're right. The first time I heard it, I heard it was a husband calling the wife. Or the, I was like, this guy's like crazy, you know, he's calling his wife a fat, you know, like yeah, a yeah. fat woman. Like, yeah. uh, like, like, whoa, what's going on? You understand? But it all depends. Like it it like all depends, it. right? It all depends on... Your... Black. No, I'm for sure not. But, uh, go to the... No, but it's, it's, it all depends on the circumstances. Meaning that was like, that was like a, a beautiful name that it wasn't, it wasn't like Ke'ilu thing. It was like a Kushit, right? Oh, a Kushit. Okay. okay, Richard, but as long as you, as long as you accepted it, it's fine. So it says the Gemara, Mechane is Malvin Pene Chavro. I don't understand you. Mechane, if you're going to be Mechane Hashem, that's already uh, that's already Malvin Pene Chavro because you're calling him a nickname. So it says the Gemara, Afal Gav de Dash be Bishmei. He says no. We're talking about that. It was like Dash. What does that mean? Everyone already he became accustomed to it. He became accustomed to such a name. The Amar Merachan Merachan Yochanan says the Merachan Merachan Yochanan. No Achlo Ladam Shevos Avek Eshdi Malvin Pene Chavro. Okay, fine. This is going to be a very famous uh, Gemara.